<laughs> Guarding your hat is one of the most difficult things. I know. <laughs> I'll take my chances. <laughs> I want to just mention a point about the Simcha, of course, and about Sukkot. We all know that Sukkot is called Zman Simcha Tehu. However, it's not clear why Sukkot is singled out. I mean, it is clear, but not so clear. Because we know that the mitzvah of simcha, whatever it may be, is a mitzvah that we do on all the all the shalosh regalim, on Pesach and on Shavuot. But we know also that for some reason, simcha on Sukkot is special. Zman simcha But if I would ask, what is it that we are so happy about on, on Sukkot? Well, I'm not sure that the answers would be easily forthcoming. You know that there's this famous question that exists in the tour about why we have Sukkot this time of the year, right when it's getting cold. Why don't we have Sukkot at the time of the Tzad Mitzrayim, where the Jews sat for the first time in Sukkot, and there are all sorts of answers. But the answer that is kind of the answer of choice was devised by the Gro and appears in his commentary on Shir Hashirim. <coughs> Perik Aleph, Pasuk Dalit, if you want to look it up. So the Gro said this, in his commentary, he doesn't really explain how he knows all of this. <coughs> but I guess he knew. He said, when the Jews made the Egel, when they built the golden calf, the Ananei Kavod were taken away. And the Ananei Kavod were returned to B'nai Yisrael when Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai with the second Luchot. Second Luchot, that was on Yud Tishrei, which we call Yom Kippur. But then there's a, a Cheshbon that it wasn't Yud, that Yud Aleph, Yud Bed, Yud Gimel. It came out that you really got them on Tetva. And so Sukkot is the time that the Ananei Kavod were re-established. The Ananei Kavod were re-established. And that certainly is a great thing, and that's why we have Sukkot at this time of year, after Yom HaKippurim. But what about the Simcha? What about the Simcha? <coughs> so the Simcha, Rav Hutner dealt with that question in a minor. Rav Hutner said, Rav Hutner said, the fact that we were able to sit in the Ananei Kavod indicated that we suddenly had all become Ba'alei Tshuva. Ba'alei Tshuva meaning we possessed it. We had the capacity to, so that the specific simcha of Sukkot, the Zman Simcha Tenu of Sukkot, is that all of us can, one way or the other, be Balei Tshuva and live within the Anane Kavod that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uh, provides us with. And we know that on Sukkot we use every, every excuse that we can possibly find to join in a simcha, to be part of a simcha, to, to run around like Mishigoyim. And so I think we all thank John and Deborah and Adiel for allowing us to participate in this simcha at Zman Simcha Tenu. It's not just Zman Simcha Tenu. But here we are at 9 o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, or maybe it was a little late, John. Uh, I hope in the future you'll take care of that. Uh, 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 we're here participating in a little extra simcha, something that we hadn't really thought about when we built our sukkah. So we thank the three of you, and in Yitz Hashem we'll be able to have many spachot together. Mazal Amen. 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 Amen.